In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create these four options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've given a 3D look here. Then you can add the icon and some option number and the top you can add some detailed text. With the different color combination, you can add the option number 2, 3 and 4 and have added some shadow effect. I've created one more slide where I've used some different color combinations and here I have not used the icons. Please share, like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on YouTube for PowerPoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and I have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through PayPal or Patreon. So let's start the tutorial. Add a new slide and change the background to any light color background then go to the view, enable the guides then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the oval shape. Just click it here, shape outline, make it no outline. Then right mouse click, go to the format shape and increase the transparency level to 30%. And then the height and width I'm going to give as 2.7. All right. And then I'm going to put this exactly on the top part here in the center. Once this is done, I'm going to duplicate this by holding the control shift key and bring it down okay and exactly place it in the bottom and then one right and the one left okay again press ctrl d again make sure it is properly aligned in the center and then hold the ctrl shift key drag it to the right and again make sure that it is properly aligned all right you can see here it looks perfectly all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all these objects all right then go to the shape format merge shape and select the fragment then select this inside the four kind of petals and shape fill make it white and make the transparency to zero percent and then this one i'm going to choose any color of your choice maybe i'm going to choose this uh, kind of a turquoise here i'm going to give a kind of a green and here I will give this kind of orange and some blue color. All right. Then make sure select this and again remove the transparency and make it 0% here. The next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to add one oval shape. Go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. All right. Shape outline, make it no outline shape fill, make it white and go to the effects under the shadow select the shadow which is the offset bottom and exactly place it in the center all right then hold the control shift key just drag this down and make sure to make the shadow offset top then i'm going to duplicate this one and i'm going to add it here towards the left side the right side and one towards the left side and just make sure that the shadow also towards the right and this shadow is towards the left so once this is done i'm going to select these four options okay by holding the shift key then go to the effects under the 3d format i'm going to choose which is the angle and here i'm going to give something 26 and 24 which looks something like this you can see here and once this is done you can add the options here so go to insert text i'm going to type option number one if you want you can add the icons also so i'm going to make it open sans extra bold increase the size and i'm going to put it in the center if you want you can just go to the insert icons also you can insert it here so then press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to add it here all right then select this one hold the control shift key just drag this down and select this one hold the control sh uh, shift key and drag it towards the left side so let me just change these numbers now this is one two three and four as i said if you want to add some icons or some different text also you can add it here so in the last one which i'm going to add the detailed text and before that one I'm going to add some shadow effect for that go to insert oval shape select the oval shape 
shape outline no outline shape fill i'm going to set with black increase the transparency go to the effects under the soft edges increase the size you can see here i can increase the size further and then i'm going to add one here Control D one more here, Control D one more here, and Control D one more here, a little bit, and select this all these four shadow options, and send this to back. All right, so it looks something like this. Again, if you want, you can just arrange the shadows, and then go to the insert text box equals L O R E M within brackets one. I don't want this much large text. I'm going to delete this, reduce the font size, and then I'm going to put it here one. Hold the control shift key, put it to the left side, and make sure it is the right align. Control D, I'm going to add one at the top, center align, and one at the bottom here. So you can see here with this we have completed the design and if you want you can add some animation effect to it.